Hey guys, we're doing something exciting. Clark, what are we doing? We're gonna go look at apartments in downtown Portland. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a very exciting life update video. From the first clip, you probably saw that Clark and I are apartment shopping in downtown Portland and are going to be moving out of this house that we currently live in but I wanted to give some more context, answer a couple questions, and then show you the apartments that we looked at. And you guys can try and guess which one we picked because as I'm filming this, we literally just got approved for one of the apartments that we looked at and we are so excited. So many more moving updates to come this month and next. But let me get into why we're moving and what our plan is. I am a city girl at heart. I want nothing more than to eventually move to New York or Chicago or a really big city. But right now with our careers and just like where we're at, it just didn't really make sense to make that big of a move yet. But we wanted to get out of the suburbs and right now we live in a suburb of Portland and we are in a family neighborhood. It's quiet and we do love that, but we're looking for a change of pace and the housing market is really hot right now. So we saw it as an opportunity to rent out our house and see it as an investment. We invested in buying this house last year and now we can rent it out. And then we're gonna be moving downtown and we signed a 15 month lease and then who knows what'll happen after that, but I'm going to be very transparent because I do not see a lot of videos in Portland in terms of house and apartment shopping. I was trying to find some as I was starting this process and they were very few and far between. So if anyone is watching this and you're interested in moving to Portland, I'm going to try and provide some insight into the area that we looked at and prices. So we have a budget of about 2,500 because we did not want to be paying more than we're paying on the mortgage on this house that just wouldn't make quite much sense so that was kind of our cap and we're obviously splitting that between clark and i so that is the budget that we were looking at we really only looked in one area of portland and it's in the northwest district i'm not going to be saying the exact buildings that we looked at or at least the one that we chose um, but if you are looking to move and you want insight into this specific building i am happy to privately message you about it just don't want to share because I've said this a million times, but the internet can be a creepy place. A lot of the buildings downtown are offering some sort of specials, which gave us a lot more flexibility in units that we probably wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. So we did have some flexibility given the specials right now, which is really nice. I'm going to get into the apartments that we looked at. I took videos of all of them and we were just really excited. It definitely happened really fast. This idea came to us a few weeks ago and then we toured Sunday and then we toured Monday and today is Tuesday and we already have approval for the apartment. So things are happening fast. We are planning to move the first week or second week of May, but we got to turn this house around, get it ready to list and rent. So it's going to be a lot going on in the month of April, but we are super excited and so grateful that we get to do this. Like we know how lucky and blessed we are. So just really exciting. And I'm so excited to share all of the moving content with you all. And if you have any more questions, leave them down below because I'm gonna be making lots more videos about this process. So I filmed all of the apartments that we looked at. I didn't talk in them because I wasn't gonna be like filming with the tour guide. It was, you know, so I'm going to be inserting the footage of each apartment and providing voiceovers for each one. And you guys can guess or tell me your favorite apartment that we looked at. And I will then do a little reveal and empty apartment tour once we are at that point. But here is apartment number one. So the first unit we looked at was in a building that we had been eyeing for a while online and no one has lived in yet and this was a one bedroom with den layout so you walk in and there is a barn door that we would use this room as an office for. And then you get into the living and dining area. We really liked the big windows in the living room and there was more than enough space for our furniture and to just live in. 
heading into the bedroom. Again, huge windows and it looks onto the street, which is really nice for a little bit more privacy and it wasn't too noisy. And then this unit had a walk-through closet and bathroom and the closet was massive, which would be great for me because I do have a lot of clothes and shoes. Bathroom was also really nice with a huge tub, so we were really off to a, an amazing start with this apartment hunt. The second unit we saw was in the same building as the first one, but with a different coloration. So it had darker flooring and cabinets. And this one was also a one bedroom with a den, but it was about a hundred square foot bigger. And you could definitely feel the difference in the size. The kitchen and living space was so big. And this was the den. It had a sliding door. It really just felt like a second bedroom and it had a huge closet, just didn't have any windows. And then on the other side of the living room and kitchen area was the bedroom space, which again was really spacious. And when you walked in, there were these really big windows. It did look into the courtyard and neighbor's apartment. So there was a little less privacy there, but we could definitely get curtains and make it work. The bedroom was spacious enough for the both of us. And then the closet in here was again, very, very big. And it was fit out with all of the alpha storage from the container store, which is really nice. And the bathroom again, it was stunning. I loved the gold detailing and the washer and dryer was also inside the bathroom which was very convenient but just thought overall this was a beautiful unit and could definitely be a great option for us then we went up a floor in this same building to see one more one bedroom with den layout and this one was smaller than apartment number two but it did have an entryway which i really liked to separate the living space a little bit. It had a big hall closet with the washer and dryer in it and then the bathroom was in the corner over here which again was beautifully done. Loved the finishing and storage options in here. Walking into the living and dining area I absolutely loved that it was a corner unit and it had a kitchen island. We know we would get a lot of use out of that as we do love to cook and then you went into this room with a sliding barn door and we would use this one as our office space and it had quite a big closet too which is great for extra storage and it was a little bit dark in here but it didn't really matter to us we could get some lights or lamps in here and then you walked across the rest of the living and dining room to get to the master bedroom and it was definitely the smallest of all the bedrooms we had seen so far. And it also looked directly into neighbors' apartments. But I think we could still make it work. We would just have a little bit of a tight squeeze. Apartment number four was in a different building that we randomly walked into while waiting for our next scheduled tour and they had one unit available to tour that was actually a two bedroom, two bath, but was within our budget. Walked into a hallway closet with a washer and dryer and then down the hall had a bathroom number one, which was nice. You could definitely tell it had been lived in and there was some things we would need to fix, but there was a huge closet in the master bedroom and the master bedroom was really spacious, but it did look onto a major highway and bridge situation. So it was pretty loud in here. And then you walked out of that bedroom past the closet and bathroom and into the other bathroom that would be used for Clark when he gets up at four in the morning. And it did have a tub, which was really nice. And again, really basic but good finishings in here. And then the other bedroom, we actually think we would use this one as a bedroom if we chose this unit because it on looked the street. So it was a little bit quieter than the one with the hallway and it did have a really nice big closet. But the star of the show here really was the fact that this was a corner unit with floor to ceiling windows and it was so bright and amazing. The only real downside here was the noise and also the area of the building was a little bit farther out than we wanted to be. But this was still a really, really beautiful unit that we loved and who knows, maybe we did pick this one.
Apartment number six was in a different building across the street from the first one we looked at at apartments one, two, and three, and they only had one unit available that was within our budget, and it was a one bedroom with no den option. So I can tell you off the bat, we ruled this one out quickly, but it was still really nice to see the building in case any other floor plans became available. Everything was super updated and new, and they had great amenities, but since we work from home a lot, we really needed that extra space for an office area. So this this would have been a squeeze for us but again really great to see the building it did look over a highway but the noise wasn't really an issue we loved the windows and the living room and kitchen was a really really nice space So the next day we went back to the first apartment complex we went to because I wanted to see one of their two bedroom options with the specials they had going on. So you walked in and it had a really nice big entryway. Then you walked into the first bathroom that is the guest bathroom or Clark's bathroom when he is up early in the morning. It had a beautiful big tub and they really thought through the use of space in these. There was a lot of great storage. They had the shelves behind the mirror, which I really loved. Definitely felt like there was a lot of great space to be used. And then across the hall was the other bathroom that was attached to the master that had a full standing shower, toilet, and again with the great cabinet space. Then you walked into the master bedroom that did overlook the courtyard, but it did have blinds and we could cover it with curtains, which is nice for privacy. And the room was big enough for our king bed and some other furniture. And it just felt pretty spacious and open. And then you walked into the master bedroom closet that was again fitted from the container store and was absolutely massive. You could probably fit like four people in here, but definitely enough room for all of our clothes and shoes. Then walking into the office bedroom that we would use, it did look over the construction, which they said only happens during work hours for the next couple months, and we really couldn't hear it back in the bedroom and office area. The closet, again, was really big in here, and then you walked into the hallway, which had a closet with the washer and dryer and a lot of great storage space in here as well. And then having heading into the living room, again, it looks over the construction, but the space was beautiful and huge. It was a corner unit and it was just so spacious. We could definitely fit our couch and all of our furniture for the most part, no problem. And we just really loved how spacious it was and how open and bright the unit felt. The corner windows were definitely a big plus and once the construction's done, it wouldn't be so bad. And that concludes our apartment hunt and we did sign a 15 month lease at one of these apartments so comment down below which one you think we picked and I will do a apartment reveal and many more apartment moving videos on the horizon. Just